So here we are in the neighborhood called Ribera 4 and this is one of the most luxurious neighborhood in Abidjan. Qui habite ici Guy? Il y a le ministre de l'Intérieur, non pas le, le, le vice-président, oui. le premier ministre euh, et le footballeur Drogba as well. Drogba, euh, ouais, c'est tout, presque le, le, le gros gros cadre. Hein. Le gros quartier résidentiel. Yeah, this is a big, big, big neighborhood with a lot of houses with super tall fences. Let me show you what it looks like. So you see this fence right here. Somebody came to deliver some food. Look at this beautiful fence, man. All this community, all these homes are gated here. This is where the rich hide in Abidjan. So for the people who have made it to the top, they build these gigantic and ginormous homes out here. Look at that. You know, this is one property, just like the fence goes all the way down. All right. I just want to show you where the rich hide. As we cruised around, I was trying to get a better look of the houses. Unfortunately, the fences are so tall. This is basically all I could get. C'est impressionnant ici, hein? <laughs> C'est impressionnant. C'est la classe. This is just the beginning. The continent is big and there's a lot to show. Guys, look at this fence, man. There's a lot of great things out here. A lot. You can't really see the houses because the fences are so tall. So guys, this trip for me was truly amazing. I had such a great time and I really wanted to focus on the most positive things about the beautiful continent of Africa. I learned a lot. It's been a while since I came back. It was really, really refreshing to come back and visit. Ghana was amazing and Ivory Coast as equally amazing. I made a tremendous amount of connections. I made new friends and I cannot wait to come back. There's a lot more I want to see. And at the same time, I want to come back here because it's so amazing. But so much of the African story is told by the outsiders. And it's time for Africans to tell their own story. So I wanna say a special thanks to Wodemaya for inspiring me and opening up my eyes about so many things about this beautiful continent. I'm forever grateful. And thank you to my friend Guy for driving me around this beautiful city of Abidjan. Language barrier is definitely a problem here. If you come in to visit and you don't speak French, it can be a little bit challenging, but don't let it stop you. Coming here in Abidjan, I was wondering, does it deserve the reputation that it has to be Petit Paris or small Paris? And my answer is absolutely yes, it deserves it. I want to end by what they say here. Il y a tout à Abidjan. There's everything in Abidjan. Everything you want, you can find it here. So guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed the videos. I wish I had more time, but I will certainly be back. So I will see you guys on the next venture. And thank you for your support. Kindly hit that like button and subscribe. We then decided to drive to the airport and that's when the unthinkable happened. Angry passengers from a previous flight took over my gate. They indicated that nobody will be allowed to board their flight until they get a plane assigned to them. Angry passengers from a previous flight took over my gate. They indicated that nobody would be allowed to board their flight until they get a plane assigned to them.
This went on for a while and nobody had any idea what is going on. Là, je suis à l'aéroport et il y a des gars en colère qui ont bloqué l'entrée. Voilà. Donc, euh, on ne fait pas board. Ils ont appelé la sécurité. Ils sont fâchés que leur vol n'est pas encore là. Et père, ils ont, ils ont pris mon, ils ont pris mon, ils ont pris mon guette, ils ont bloqué. Eventually, the police arrived and tried to fix the problem. The gate is now open. Security moved them on that side. The gate is now open. Wow. Everything went smoothly after that and we were allowed to board. I could see if I just close my eyes Have the foresight to believe Time don't move backwards, it speeds me To the future, fit this lead Charging forward when I open my mouth Though I may not know how I know I was born to sing Il a arrêté devant moi, il ne regarde pas, il le coupe. <rire>